And at this point, I'm like, bro, this girl solved it and the school day isn't even over yet. Story time. Hey guys, today we're going to be going over my Walmart Squid Game. Quite literally, this game was inspired by the newly popular K-drama called Squid Game, which on release blew up instantly on Netflix. If you have not seen it already, do not worry. I am not going to spoil the show for you, or I might. I don't know yet. Oh, my God. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm not that meaning. If you want to see a specific type of video or any video in mind or you have any ideas, I have a Google form in the description that you can fill out. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for more amazing content. Anyways, I'm going to go over the aspects of the game. Essentially, I purpose purposely tried to create a bit of tension in the classroom by purposely putting romantic comments on my teachers over response questions that were displayed to the class. <laughs> Little did I know this would get quite a bit of attention from my classmates, especially from peers from other periods. At this point I feel like a 6th grader who's trying to make his first hit rap song with his friends. This was the Friday before the week of my birthday, so this would be the week of October 7th, I think. I originally planned to release this game and the first few clues on October 13th, but this kind of got messed over by the schedule of the PSAT, and also it was the day after my birthday. So, <laughs> that's kind of, you know, how it went out. So, you know, how scheduling of PSAT testing and stuff got in the way. I ended up deciding to let out the first clues on the following day on October 14th instead. Those clues were quote unquote brown hair and just the number seven. But before I show you all how the players themselves did, I will show you the introduction video that also has a bit of the rules in there as well. Hello players. As you may know this past Friday, I leaked a very close secret on the class per deck about her. As of now, nobody in the first period has yet to guess the subject of the message. That will be your objective. Over the next few days, I will leave subtle hints and clues about who this person may be. I'd advise you to check your surroundings as you may find useful hints around the classroom. Rules go as follows. This game is only available to participants of our first period physics class. You may team up with other students in our class to collaborate together. You may not be allowed to collaborate with students outside of our classroom. Video slash media evidence is allowed. You are allowed to retrieve information from students outside of our class that may be helpful and most importantly, do not let the teachers find out about this. Please do not post anything related to this game outside of our group chat. This game is meant to be discreet and played only upon students of first period. Guessing process. Each player is allowed with an unlimited number of guesses but don't take it for granted. This will not be an easy task. To take a guess you must message me your guess and give evidence to back it up. Your guesses will be confidential. If you have a correct guess, I will let you know and make a group announcement announcing the winner. The winner will help choose the subject of the next game. You are not allowed to confront said guess as I will tell you if you have guessed correctly or not. This game will last over the course of the next two full school weeks. If there is no winner by the end of the game then there will be a restart and a new topic and task chosen. Good luck and get to guessing. With the objective clear to the whole class, seven or eight people chose to participate while the rest sat back and enjoyed the show. There were many people interested in trying to figure out how to use just oh my god, I cannot speak. Use strategic clues to find out one person went to every girl I followed on Instagram and tried to guess from there. Oh my god. I can't lie, that was one hell of an idea, but it would take too long and it's ineffective but that is the first thing you would think of right i mean i can't blame them many others tried to guess out of my close friends which i would have done as well but this one girl in particular i refer to her as sarah 
took it a bit further. Sarah is a brilliant young lady which I met last year in my chemistry class. She's fairly entertaining and have a few mutual friends between me and her. Going on with this knowledge, she took off with her in-depth investigation to find out who was the subject of the game. I asked so called Sarah if she wanted to come and answer some questions about her process of finding out who the suspect was for this video, but unfortunately she was not able to make it. I can definitely see some skills of a prime investigator in Sarah as she used her resources, her mutual friends, which is allowed stated in the rules, to help her understand the situation more. She was quickly able to find out very close information uh, relative to myself actually as in my mother's job and other things very quickly like the name of our class group chat and narrow it down to the first and last name of the subject within the same day of the first clues being released. This was very impressive because at the time the subject who I had a crush on at the time does not know about this game nor probably does not know still. If it gets 50 likes, I'll definitely tell her though and update you on her reaction. But at this time, almost nobody knew I was into her, and uh, it was very shocking how she found out that quick. Not too long after, unfortunately, I ended up losing Felix for the suspect because I felt as if she was not giving me the same effort in our conversations as I was giving her, and that she wasn't showing interest back. So I kind of cut my loss and moved on. Back on our winning candidate. First round. Never mind. First, she found out the period which the subject and I shared a class in. Then they named the class Snapchat group chat. Then narrowed down her by race, whether her first name started with a vowel or a consonant, whether it was a boy or a girl. It did she kind of easily guessed from the people who were still in the group chat. She even found out what room I had had that class in the location of where it was in the building. She even went further to meet me after class to confirm whether or not she had got the suspect correct. At this point, I'm like, bro, this girl solved it in the school day isn't even over yet. This girl had absolutely impressed me in ways I've never expected anyone to impress me. With their close observations and smarts. Instantly, I could compare her to Sophia from Control Z. Sophia Hera is a shy introverted person who is very observant of her surroundings and its Einstein level smarts in which she can connect her observations with situations and discover people's closest and deepest secrets with that knowledge. After the first day I continued to let the other competitors guess and take shots at which uh in which one other person already know who the subject was. But the, other than that, no other person guessed it correctly without me revealing it to them or giving major hints. Anyways, that's kind of how I made a classroom squid game inspired by squid game, of course. Hope you all like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video and I hope you have a great day. One more thing I want to announce. I will be opening a Google form if you guys want to tell some stories for the next story time video. I look forward to seeing what you all have to offer and the interesting stories that I will be reading out. If you are interested in sharing, I will also be posting this on my snap and it's a story. If you do want to share a story, uh, just go fill out the form. Other than that, that's all I have to say.